In this lesson, we will classify mappings as one-to-one -one functions onto functions, both or neither. For a quick review, a function is a relation in which each input has exactly one output. For the functions, we will assume we have a mapping from A to B. A function is one-to-one -one or injective if different elements in A have different corresponding elements in B, or we can also say a function is one-to-one -one if every possible element in B has at most one corresponding input element in A. A function is onto or surjective if every element in B has some corresponding elements in A, or we can say a function is onto if every possible element in B has at least one corresponding input element in A. So there are a couple of ways to describe both one-to-one -one or non-to functions. To analyze our mappings, we will focus on the bullets where I've highlighted at most one and at least one. So looking at the first mapping, we need to be careful here. This mapping is actually not even a function. Notice how this third input has two corresponding outputs. So if it's not a function, it can't be a one-to-one -one function or an onto function. Let's go and just label this not a function. Looking at the next mapping on the right, notice every input does have exactly one output and therefore we do have a function. And now let's focus on the elements in B. Notice how the first element in B has one corresponding input in A, and the second element in B has two corresponding inputs in A. So because the second element has two corresponding inputs in A, the function is not one-to-one, -one because for a one-to-one -one function, every element in B has at most one corresponding input element in A. However, this is an onto function because for an onto function, every possible element in B has at least one corresponding input element in A. So having one or two corresponding inputs in A does meet the requirement for an onto function. Looking at the next mapping, again, we do have a function. We have three elements in B, each of which have exactly one corresponding input element in A. And since all of the elements in B have exactly one corresponding input element in A, this function is both one-to-one -one and onto. Having exactly one corresponding input in A for every element in B does meet the requirement of having at most one as well as at least one. So this mapping is a one-to-one -one and onto function. For the next mapping, again, we do have a function. There's only one element in B of which has three corresponding inputs in A. Well, three is more than at most one, and therefore we don't have a one-to-one -one function, but we do have an onto function because having three corresponding inputs does meet the requirement of having at least one corresponding input element in A. This function is a onto function. Let's take a look at two more examples on the next slide. On the left, notice how we have four elements in set B, three of which have exactly one input in set A, and the second element in B has zero corresponding input elements in A. All the elements in B do have at most one corresponding input elements in A. Zero or one is at most one, and therefore we do have a one-to-one -one function. However, it's not an onto function because of the second element having zero corresponding input elements in A does not meet the requirement of elements in B having at least one corresponding input element in A. So this mapping is a one-to-one -one function, not an onto function. Notice how this mapping also meets the definition of different elements in A have different corresponding elements in B. Looking at our last mapping, again, we do have a function. The first element in B has two corresponding inputs. The second element has one corresponding input, and the third element has zero corresponding inputs. So this is not going to be a one-to-one -one function because of the element in B that has two corresponding inputs. Two does not meet the requirement of having at most one, and it's also not onto because of the third element that has zero corresponding inputs. Zero corresponding inputs does not meet the requirement of having at least one. And therefore, this last mapping is a function, but it is neither one-to-one -one nor onto. I hope you found this helpful.